Hello friends, welcome. In this video, we'll be discussing the objectives of health psychology. You know, it's an important discipline of applied psychology. So what are the objectives within which this discipline works? That the objectives forms the base of any discipline. Its mission is to advance the science and practice of evidence-based health psychology and behavioral medicine. It publishes peer-reviewed articles on psychological, biobehavioral, social and environmental factors in physical health and medical illness and other issues in health psychology. So this is the basic statement of modern health psychology let us discuss this statement third best. It advances the science, means its role is to advance the scientific knowledge, the research outcomes that is gained from the research by the health psychologist published in peer-reviewed journals in the form of the articles, so that the information can be shared with other stakeholders, that the research is based upon several factors, that factors can be psychological factors, biological factors, social factors or the environment factors. These factors, how they relate to the health, that is the physical health and consequently how that health influences your psychophysiological well-being. The health psychologist, practicing health psychologist study how patients handle illness. Why some people don't follow medical advice and the most effective ways to control pain or change poor health habits. So these are the focus areas where health psychologists put their efforts and go for the research. They also develop health care strategies that foster emotional and physical well-being. So this is a comprehensive statement that encompasses the every aspect of the health psychology. The role of health psychologist is directly concerned with the physical health, means how the people behave when they face the illness, how the pain that due to the illness people experience. Some people manage pain, some people fail to manage pain. Why is there is a difference between this? Why people have different, different kind of health habits? Why some people are health conscious? Why some are not? So these are the focus areas where health psychologists go for the research. Now, we'll be coming to the objectives of the health psychology. So that was the, some background as far as the role, scope or the subject matter of health psychology is concerned. Role, what health psychology plays is the psychological factors in the cause, progression and consequences of health and illness. Why the illness occurs? Why some people maintain their health at the optimum level? That is the area where health psychology focuses upon. What are the causes of physical illness? How that physical illness progresses? So all these areas are being covered by the health psychology. So the first objective of health psychology is evaluating the role of behavior in the etiology of illness. What is the etiology of illness? Etiology means causes, what are the factors that leads to illness, means the health psychology evaluates or analyzes the role of individual's behavior in developing the illness or maintaining the health. Nowadays, lots of people are facing the lifestyle diseases, diseases or the illness that has occurred due to the lifestyle. Lifestyle is a kind of your behavior. So these are the important areas where health psychology has a prime focus. For example, heart disease is related to behavior such as smoking, food intake, lack of exercise. So smoking, type of food you take, lack of exercise or the physical activities you engage in, this is a kind of your behavior. And this behavior is leading to the heart disease. Then. Many types of cancers are related to the behavior such as your diet, 
your smoking, your alcohol, your exposure to toxins. So all these factors contribute in development of the cancer and other life-threatening maladies. Then the second objective or the important objective is the predicting the unhealthy behaviors. We human beings tend to engage in behaviors which are momentarily seems to be healthy one. But in the long term, they prove to be unhealthy one. So why people engage in such behaviors which are determinantal for the health and the well-being? Take an example of smoking. Take an example of alcohol consumption. And high-fat diets are related to beliefs. Beliefs about health and illness can be used to predict your behavior. See, your beliefs influences your behavior. Your belief influences your diet intake. Your beliefs influences your consumption of drugs. So you know the beliefs are important ingredients in your behavior. And when these beliefs are modified directly or indirectly, your behavior is modified and your health pattern gets improved. By studying the belief system, by studying the behavior that are modulated by the beliefs, behaviors can be predicted with scientific accuracy. And this is one of the objectives of the health psychology. The third objective, evaluating the interaction between psychology and physiology. You know, your psychology and your physiology, they are interrelated. For example, if someone gets sick due to that physical illness, individual's psychological well-being also get affected adversely. Sometimes psychological illness or psychological disorders leads to the physical illness. So these both the fields are intricately related to each other. For example, the experience of stress relates to coping and social support. Stress leads to the physiological changes which can trigger or exacerbate illness. Pain perception can be exacerbated by anxiety and reduced by the distraction. Stress can lead to the physiological illness. Stress, some people cope up with the stress with full efficiency, whereas some people fail to cope up with the stress and lands up in the physical illness. When individual perceives some kind of pain due to some injury or due to some illness, that pain can be managed by your belief system, by your psychological health. Because for the time being, if the individual's attention is distracted from the pain-causing event, certainly the experience of pain reduces. So psychological factors can contribute significantly in maintaining your health and well-being. The fourth important objective of health psychology is the understanding the role of psychology in the experience of illness. Understanding the psychological consequences of illness which could help to elevate symptoms such as the pain, nausea, vomiting, anxiety and depression. If the psychological setup or you say the individual is mentally strong in the common man language, in that case, the experience of the illness will differ to the individual who is not so strong mentally as the first one. So why this occurs? Strong mental setup can help in reducing the symptoms, even reducing the recovery period significantly. So psychological factors play a prominent role in maintaining your health and well-being. The fifth objective, evaluating the role of psychology in the treatment of illness. How that psychology plays a prominent role in treating a particular disease or addressing an illness. If they have their contribution in creating a disease in an individual, certainly they have a role in other way too. So changing behaviors and reducing the stress could reduce the chances of further aggravation of the illness. The sixth objective, promoting healthy behavior, that is modification of the behavior. 
your behavior is one of the important components that contribute in your health as well as the illness. If you understand the role of behavior and your belief system in the illness, that understanding helps in not only managing your health, also it helps in maintaining your health and keeping the illness away. So we need to not only focus upon the external sources such as the medicine for the managing illness, we have to sit down and focus upon what are the important behavioral factors that are leading to the illness or we are keeping our health at the optimum level. So we need to introspect in this sense. And the seventh objective is the preventing the illness. Yes, once an individual contracts a disease, that's a, another factor. But health psychology focuses upon how this illness can be prevented, means circumventing the entry of illness. How it can be done? It can be done with only one thing, that is the significantly modifying the behavior, significantly modifying your belief system, and that is kind of a learning. So let us summarize the objectives. The first one, understanding the role of behavioral factor in the health and illness. If you could understand what are the roles of behavioral factors in illness and health, we can maintain our health and keep the illness away. Second one, prevention of illness. Health psychology contribute in preventing the illness. Analysis of health policies from the psychological context. The health policies designed by the governments, they are to be continuously analyzed and evaluated from the perspective of psychology. Pure medication cannot help in curing your disease or managing your illness. You need to modify your behavior too. That's why physicians always suggest behavior modification. They suggest modification in your, in your diet modification in your lifestyle, modification in your sleeping pattern, along with medication. So what is that? They are in turn suggesting a kind of behavior modification for you. Research for new insight on health and illness. That is the prime objective of the health psychology so that the new outcomes can be shared and the health and illness can be addressed appropriately. Focus on improvement of patient physician relationship. That's a very important aspect. Why the health psychology looks at the illness from the perspective of the psychology. So the relationship between the patient and physicians are of cardinal value. They help in reducing the recovery time. They help in reducing the dependency on the external medication. So that's a very important one and that is addressed by the health psychology. Attitude and adherence to the medical advice. Then developing alternative treatment program to manage pain. So what is this alternative treatment programs? Treatment programs beyond the modern medication system. Alternative treatment programs. That are the your how your relationship are, how you behave, how your belief system, your total behavioral pattern, your thinking pattern, these are to be incorporated while designing the alternative treatment programs for the illness. The relationship between the lifestyle and health, it is intricately related, not only intricately related, almost all diseases that we people are facing right now are the resultant of the lifestyle. Maybe some other factors too, but lifestyle plays the major role in our health as well as illness. My dear friends, these are my references. You can cross-check them and to gain deeper insight, you can refer. Dear friends, here we end our today's discussion. So the next discussion will be the concept of health. That's a very important topic and we'll be discussing with the beautiful example. So stay tuned to the Dr. Rajan Verma YouTube channel and wait for the next discussion. By the time, if you like the contents of this video, share with others, tell to others. If you have some issues, kindly share with me. You can write a comment in, my, in the comment box or you can drop me an email at vamasujit at the rate of yahoo.com.
थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग